Good evening and welcome to today's 7 o'clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden, bringing you all of today's Spurs news from Spurred on TV. First up today, Nathan Odua, who's on loan at Rangers, uh, one of our youngsters on loan at Rangers, scored his first goal um, for the club in a 4-0 win against Dumbarton. Not the most glamorous of teams to be scoring against, but he's got off the mark. Um, obviously, he's been there for, for the start of the season um, and he's become a mainstay in their first 11. Um, you know, he, since he's gone there, He's been falling defenders up and down the pitch. He's looking really good. He's become a fan favourite there. Don't know if you've seen some of the skills that he's got involved in, but he's got defenders wanting to crunch him every time he's on the ball. So he's looking like he's a really good player up there. He's, he's developing well up there. Manager Mark Warburton is also singing his praises, saying that he's got a, a lot of work to do. Obviously, he's young. He's only 19. Let's remember that. Um, he's got a lot of work to do, but he has to earn his shirt. And if he does that, We've got a very good player on our hands, so it's exciting times for Nathan Odua up there in uh, Scotland. Uh, are you excited to see him come back? Let us know in the comments section below. Uh, is he a player that you want back soon? Uh, let us know again in the comments section below. Second up today, uh, Newcastle's Ayose Perez has said he's uh, quashing rumours of a January move uh, away from the club, saying that he's happy at Newcastle and that he's playing and getting better at the club. Obviously, we've been interested in the uh, in Ayoso Perez over the last few, we've been rumoured to be interested in him over the last few months. Um, is he a player you want at the club? Uh, I know that he's a popular player in the Premier League. Is he better than Newcastle? Let's, I would say that he's probably better than, uh, than Newcastle. I'll put myself out there and say that he, he could do better, at, uh, could go to a better club. Uh, he's got 10 goals in 52 appearances for them. Um, he's, attracted interest from the likes of Man United, Arsenal, as well as us. So he's obviously a good player that a lot of teams are starting to, to question whether they want him or not. But he's saying he's, he's happy at Newcastle. So is he a player that you would want us to bring in? Again, let us know in the comments section below. Uh, third up today, Moussa Dembele. This is a good stat, actually. Moussa Dembele, uh, according to whoscored.com, I don't know if you know him, but they're, they're a stats website and, and they collect data on various things. But apparently he's Europe's top dribbler, according to their website. Uh, he averages three successful dribbles per game, which doesn't sound that much, but that means he is the sixth best in the Premier League. But the interesting stat about him is that out of 209 players to attempt 30 or more dribbles in Europe's top five leagues, he has a success rate of 86.8%, .8%, which is the best in the European top five leagues. Obviously, that's awesome. He's starting to come into his own now as a player. Start of the season, he had a bit of trouble. If you remember, he got an ankle injury against Everton. Come back against Liverpool and had a, a worldy of a game. And I think he started every game since then. He's, you know, he's become invaluable to us this season. Before the season, I will admit, I did question his attacking ability. And he's always been great on the ball. He's strong, he wins the ball back. Even when he, I said this before, even when he doesn't have the ball, or even when he loses the ball, sorry, it looks like he's still got the ball. He'll always win it back. He's just a monster on the ball. And these stats don't lie. Like He's got 86.8% dribble uh, success rate. Can't complain with that. The only thing that I would say is missing from his game now, to add to what he's already proven this season, is that final killer pass. You know, the, the likes of Ericsson and, and um, Lamella, they can probably play those killer passes more than him. If he can get that into his game, then we're looking at an awesome player. He was our best player on the weekend against Chelsea as well. And yes, it was a nil nil draw, but he, looks, he looked awesome. So, good times for Moussa Dembele, happy with uh, the situation at the club. And that's it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. Uh, don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, comment if you've got any comments, uh, and make sure to follow us at Spurred on TV on Twitter, and make sure to tune in tomorrow again for another edition of 7 o'clock Spurs. Go are you, Spurs? And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a 